Welcome back guys to Pinal Crossover. Let's go straight up to all about the Raptors. Let's talk about the recent games we have here. Mm -hmm. We had two big mm -hmm. games this past weekend. Uh, Washington Wizards, they played in a two uh, overtime twice, two overtimes, and then they played the Boston game in which they lost uh, a few nights ago. Uh, so what were the thoughts about the Washington Wizards game when they, they made a, a made a run for the raising their money and then they made it to two overtimes they played for a long the long sunday night game mm -hmm. well it, I, I thought it was a very exciting game just because of the fact that um they were up that game and the washington was we thought they were going to just blow the wizards away mm -hmm. because they were but the wizards made a really good comeback mm -hmm. and, and i just wanted i wanted to see how the raptors do against things like this where they already kind of dominated and they made a statement in the game and all of a sudden they kind of let off and they let the team come back and I wanted to see how they would respond to it mm -hmm. and I think it was good to see in terms of how well they responded on the road on a team that mm -hmm. you know they thought they were just going to blow out of the uh, because without John Wall yeah. but then came back and actually had a really good um, game in terms of Bradley Beal had a really really nice game in terms of, of Raptors, like actually. a triple double yeah, with 40 yeah. points uh, Otto Porter was hitting some shots so it was nice to see how, how Kawhi, Lowry, and the rest mm -hmm. of the squad were able to handle that kind of situation. Uh, defensive plays, they were there all the way through, and, and, and Kawhi hit some shots that, um, that we, we wanted to see that because in the playoffs, we need, we need to know if Kawhi can be that person that yep. can get, hit those go-to shots mm -hmm. or can make those passes, which he was able to do. Ibaka hit some shots too, so it was nice to see that they were mm -hmm. able to come uh, and, and still get that win, even though they kind of let off and they kind of um, let the team come back mm -hmm. when they could have won that game like easily. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah mm -hmm. so I, I told you guys I didn't get a chance to watch the game because I was mm -hmm. jet-lagged. Uh, from coming back yeah, from the yeah. Philippines. Yeah. But the uh, Boston out, game, yeah. what about the Boston game? Yeah. Well, that was exciting to watch. The Boston game was really mm -hmm. good to see, watch. Yeah. And like, it, was a, it, was a, it was a great game, it was a national televised game. It was one of the best two matchups of, of the evening. So mm -hmm. what are your thoughts about the Boston game? That you, you had a glimpse to check it out. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it was a tough game. Um, I, I, I think they, they had a, a record, or they had a stat out there where for the past 11 games, the home team has won every single game. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always tough to play in Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyrie's always phenomenal when he plays the Raptors. I think he's a guy that gets up for big games. Mm -hmm. um, so for Boston, it was, it was a pretty big game playing the number one team. And just watching the game like for the Raptors, it just felt like another game to them. Yeah. Um, I think they're a bit gassed right now, just missing a few of their key players. Mm -hmm. But uh, the first half, Boston was pretty much nailing every three. Mm. Um, and the Raptors were kind of struggling a bit, yet they're only down by 11. Mm. Um, so that was good to see, and obviously they didn't, they didn't pull out the win, but uh, yeah, like it's, it's good to see them play on the road. Um, I'm a bit concerned of Lowry, just because he hasn't played to his standard for the past few weeks. Yeah. And I know he goes through these lulls every season where like he's missing a jump shot, but uh, he needs to get it soon. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I want to see when Kawhi Leonard is on the floor with him, mm -hmm. that Kawhi Leonard, is all, he's going to get his 30 points either way, yeah. whether he shoots it uh, from, the, from, the, uh, from the side or mm -hmm. takes it in for a layup. And I want to see Kyle Lowry be more aggressive, not being more passive, yeah. and actually take some more shots like when he was doing when Kawhi Leonard wasn't playing with him mm -hmm. on the court. Um, and then another concern for me is just the bench productivity. It's, we haven't, the bench has hasn't really been there steadily. They've mm -hmm. have let go of some of the leads uh, in the past few games and having to get the starting lineup back in earlier than expected and making sure that we get uh, a W out of that game and make sure we get back up and they get that lead. So hopefully, I mean, we got to try to find another scorer off the bench because CJ Miles isn't really shooting that well from the three um, but Norman Powell has been coming out of But Norman yeah. Powell is. I think yeah. he got off the court, uh, the cur the GoDaddy curse right now, and <laughs> I'm so happy about. And he's been playing. I mean, uh, since that injury from Lowry, in, um, when Lowry came off, uh, yeah. Powell's been <laughs> coming off, and and he's been good for them. Even that mm -hmm. game against Boston, he yeah. was hitting some shots, and he was taking the ball to the rim, which is something that we saw from him before he signed that contract extension and just kind of mm -hmm. disappeared last year. Mm -hmm. So at least some uh, there's some players are coming back alive like him. Yeah. If we hope CJ does. But then this also affected by JV. I think JV made such an impact off the bench for us. Yeah. That and it, it grabbed a lot of the defense gravitated towards him on that role. Yep. That it opened a lot of shots for Delon, for CJ, for OG, mm -hmm. for Norman, or for Fred when he, when he was coming off the bench. Off of them. So that th yeah. them not having him affected in terms of the way they play mm -hmm. because he sucks so much mm -hmm. gravity in, especially on the roll on the post up. 
that um, I think Greg Monroe has been good, but yeah. he's not JV is not yeah. yeah in terms of what JV has done for us. Yeah, with Greg Monroe on the court, it's like the the line of right and Norman Powell, no Serge Miles kind of have to force their own shot mm -hmm. without trying to have to find <coughs> their shot if they use JV. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it is. I agree with that situation mm -hmm. where JV has been very very helpful when it comes yeah. to gravitating the defense, especially for the for the bench as well. Yeah, I was uh, I was having this chat with my brother last night while we were watching the game and. Uh, JV just destroys second line centers. Yeah. Um, and for a game like that last night, where it was just such a like, it was such a grind, right? <laughs> um, where like you need a guy like JV that you can just throw it into and like have him pound it and like get you 15 points. Yeah. Um, so like, although Greg Monroe had a good game and he's filled in admirably, um, we need JV back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I think um, Kawhi's been that kind of guy that they just kind of throw into the post mm -hmm. yeah. recently now too. So um, it's good to see that without JV. They have, they have found a way to kind of see if mm -hmm. they can fill out that role that they can yeah. go to on the block, mm -hmm. and they found it through Hawaii. So it's good to see that, you know, that absence is allowing us to see what, you know, uh, all facets of Kawhi's game, mm -hmm. not just yeah. the three-point, mm -hmm. not just the, uh, the drive and the dribble, the post game. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, I like that we're having all these struggles now and all these challenges because mm -hmm. it's allowing uh, us to learn more about the, the best player that we have on our team yeah. and, and see if that's something that we can translate deep into the playoffs. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept this loss. It's just it's still a learning yeah. curve because Kawhi is still not playing his back to backs. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna play against Phoenix on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So it's is he's still trying to learn. The whole team is trying to learn together. Yeah. Uh, with with the chemistry rise, building up chemistry. Even though Kyle Lowry said he probably has chemistry with Kawhi, like they're all linked up already. But <laughs> they still gotta work towards getting that uh, motion and try to you know yeah. close out games, you know professionally and perfectly because they the close out games mm -hmm. hasn't been really. It's been inconsistent, right? They've been mm -hmm. blowing leads and like losing, losing, losing the ball and not, not passing the ball like they used to in the earlier quarters and trying to find that one-on-one uh, -on -one spot. And then they're forcing up shots. And especially in that Boston game where they forced up shots, was, it was horrible. But I'll accept the loss for now. Yeah. My, my last question to you guys is, um, with the current straws that they have and the current uh, trend coming up in terms of Bradley Beal, should they make mm -hmm. any moves mm -hmm. at all to get a, a player like Beal, a third scorer? Yeah, um, so in theory they should, um, just because the NBA is such a talent-driven league. Yeah. Um, the trade that, I, I, I guess like the trade scenario that they have out there would be OG, Pascal, and two first-rounders going mm -hmm. back for Beal. Yeah. Uh, that's completely not worth it. Yeah. Um, if I were to do it, I would probably do like, let's say like OG, DeLon, and maybe a first. Mm -hmm. um, but I would not do that trade at all. I will not um, lose Siakam. Yeah. If I have to lose Siakam, mm -hmm. no. If, if a player like, like you mentioned, DeLon, yeah. OG, mm -hmm. or even Norman Powell in a couple first round mm -hmm. pick, I would. Yeah. Just because if we do have a talent of Beal and then Lowry and Ibaka still there, mm -hmm. and then you still have JV, I think it would convince a guy like Kawhi to stay. And if you yeah. have Kawhi to sign multiple years <clears> with <throat> us, mm -hmm. Technically, OG could be some of you know yeah. um, an asset that we could uh, we could afford to lose. Yeah, in a sense. Well, let me ask you guys this: Do you yeah. think Kawhi staying? Yeah. It all. I think it all depends on how it, yeah. um, how we do in the playoffs. Okay. I think he's as much as he doesn't mention that he doesn't care about the money. Yeah. He's gonna lose a lot of money if he does not mm -hmm. sign with the Raptors. Yeah. At least twenty million dollars off the table because no one else can sign him in mm -hmm. terms of the amount of dollars that we could because, because we have the, uh, um, that agreement from the trade. Yeah. Um, yeah. No one else can sign him over 200 million. We're the only team that can do so. Mm -hmm. So if we do well, and, and he's been looking for, he, I think he doesn't want to, he's lost a lot of money already with uh, the trade from the Spurs because mm -hmm. the Spurs was able to offer him way more money than, mm -hmm. um, and than anybody. And since they traded, he lost that ability to get that um, and if we, I don't think he's willing to lose a lot more money again, yeah. not signing with us. And it all depends on how we do in the playoffs. Just quickly, I'll, I'll say I don't. Th it does depend on the playoffs, but I don't think he's going to leave. Mm -hmm. it, it only depends on our, our team, the Raptors or the Clippers. And Clippers, like who do they have surrounding yeah. them? If they're going to pick up like another player like Paul George or something like that. Mm -hmm. If the, if Kawhi doesn't want, if wants to play with <coughs> Paul George, but I know we have a good system here. We have a great doctor. Uh, the sports as the head of the sports uh, sports science guy, I could help Kawhi build up his game healthy mm -hmm. as an athlete. So I think we have the best. So I do think he might he might stay here for. Uh, it does, still does depend on the playoffs yeah. how we play.